The time has come to replace that old plastic Bowden tube on the desktop printer. All we need for this replacement is the new plastic Bowden tube. The first step is to verify that all plastic filament is completely unloaded from the machine. Next, we will unscrew the Bowden tube retaining nut from the print head. We can let it hang freely at this point. Note, if you are unable to loosen the thumb screw by hand, use a pair of pliers, but take care to avoid stripping the thumb screw knurls. Now detach the plastic bone tube from the plastic extruder by unscrewing the brass adapter. Before we can remove the bone tube from the energy chain, we must first unscrew the M4 standoff from the extruder end of the bone tube. Do not pull this standoff directly off the tube. It is threaded onto the plastic tube and must be unscrewed rather than pulled straight off. With the M4 standoff removed, slide the brass retaining nut off this end of the bone tube. We can now remove the old bone tube from the energy chain. Grasp the bone tube by the print head end and pull forward until the entire tube is free of the energy chain. Before we install a new plastic bone tube, we must prepare it first. Begin by removing the M4 standoff and brass retaining nut from the extruder side of the replacement bone tube. Grasp the now exposed extruder end of the bone tube and insert it into the energy chain and snake it all the way through to the extruder. You can manually slide the print head to the back right corner of your printer to straighten the energy chain, making it easier to snake the tube through. Once the bone tube passes all the way through the energy chain, we can reinstall the M4 standoff and brass retaining nut. To do this, slide the brass retaining nut on first with the threads facing the extruder, then screw the M4 standoff back onto its threaded plastic end of the bone tube. With this hardware installed, we can now insert the plastic bone tube into the outlet side of the plastic extruder and tighten the brass retaining screw. At the print head, carefully insert the bone tube and tighten. Once we have completed the replacement of our plastic bone tube, we will now reset the plastic bone tube counter on our printer. Updating this counter will allow your device to warn you proactively when the plastic bone tube next needs to be replaced. To reset this counter, simply navigate to the menu, Utilities, Maintenance, and Maintenance Schedule. You should replace this plastic bone tube every 3,200 cubic centimeters of printed plastic or if you notice any excessive damage or wear on the tubes. To officially complete this replacement, you can now reload your plastic filament.